and then this is what I add. Uh, this is what I add to the JSON decode like this. So I'm going to do two there. So it's an array inside an array. Okay. So that in location one, there's an array, just like the rows inside uh, the database, where you have the column for ID, you have the column for username, and then there's another row with the same uh, things like that. So that's why we're adding it like this. Okay. So once we come up here and convert this back into an array, we have to be able to check to see if, uh, actually what I could do here is give these, instead of just adding them like that, I can give them, I can make them associative arrays and give them uh, values. Like for example, uh, the first one here I can say, so that it's easier to read back, I can say, um, user ID, that's the person that uh, liked, and then here I'm going to say date, so that next time it's easier to read, so the user uh, ID, the date, and then I add them to an array like that, okay, so that when I come back here to check if this user has already liked, what I will simply do is use a function called array column, now what array column does is it goes, let me give an example of, um, let me go to the users table or the posts table. Okay. Or maybe the users table looks more promising. Yeah, so what's happening here, as you can see, is uh, we can think of these rows, each row as an array because it contains an ID, user ID, and so on. So this is an array, one row is an array. But if I retrieve, let's say, uh, four rows in my result, it means it's an array of four rows, but each row is an array of its own, right? So this is an array inside an array. Now, when, when I say array column, I can choose one column, let's say the first name, and then I'll create a new array that contains only the first names of each of these arrays that are inside this array. So if you, if that didn't, uh, you didn't understand that, that's fine. You can simply Google uh, column, array column on, uh, or look for it on php.net. All right. So what I will do is I'm going to say my array here, array is equal to, uh, after decoding that, I'm going to say, because it's also possible this did not become a, uh, a proper array in that case then we are doomed so what I will say is array is equal to array column so the input is likes that's the uh, the array we want and then the column that we are looking for is user ID so it will only get these user IDs and forget about these dates, just that, and put them inside this new array that we've created over here. Now, I can call it user IDs, just to be very specific, because this is what it contains now, or the user IDs of all the people that liked. And then since we have this now, we can ask the question, if in array, like so, okay, what are we looking for? We are looking for the current user ID right now, which is this one here, my book. If that one is inside the user IDs, those that liked already, if it's inside there, then we can we can simply leave it be because we, we don't need to like However, if it's not, then we can do this. So instead of asking whether it's in there, we will ask whether it's not, put an exclamation mark at the beginning. So if it is not in there, then we do all this, okay? So what are we doing exactly? So since we already have these, uh, the JSON likes there, or, and by the way, to make it an array at the end there, put a comma and say true, like so. Uh, JSON 
the code yeah we put true at the very end there this turns it into an array if you don't put true it turns it into an object because this is an object this is json uh, javascript ob object notation but we want it to be an array so that's why we're doing that so we put true at the end just to make sure so uh what we do is if if it's in there if it's not in there we do this so what are we doing here we are simply appending to this one this array that is already created that we got from the uh, from the database so instead of using this arr or actually we can leave this as it is uh, this array right here so we're going to add the new user id if they are not there and then the date and then instead of uh, oh what did we do okay instead of doing this here we are simply going to append to likes so at the end of the likes uh, array we'll add the new array like so so we are adding here we were creating a new one so there we go so once we like that and then the same likes we encode them again okay now we are encoding the likes instead of this one so the same one converted to that or we can just say likes string like so just to be specific likes string is equal to json encode those likes and then what we do now instead of insert we are going to update so we remove all this and just say update uh, likes set likes is equal to likes string like so now i've put uh, two of these so we need a where clause because we need to know where we are doing this so we can just copy this what we've done there okay where type is equal to post and limit one so we can copy the rest of that and put it here so we set likes is equal to like string where type is equal to post and that limit one and then we run that thing and that's it so this should work without any problems so in order to confirm that it has worked let's go to the likes uh, database here you see it's empty in there so let's try and like our own post let me go to my own profile here and then i'll hit like let's see what happens oh, oh. so now we have an error and it's saying class post not found hmm i wonder why now the thing is we have to be able to uh, let me go to the likes here it's in here because i'm invoking the post uh, but i didn't include what i need to include so i can copy the inclusion uh, um, uh where is this from profile.php so let me go to profile.php i need this include at the top and i also need to check if the user is actually signed in like so otherwise if they are not signed in then they'll be liking something and we want to know who is liking what so at the very top of likes.php we have to add these things there like so so we insert our classes and then we check so this will ensure that if they're not logged in they're sent to the login page instead of liking a post so let me try that again now an identified variable db in classes post hmm okay so let's go back to the post in classes here so where is that it's saying on line 167 so let's go down to 167 so db is unknown so let's uh, let's create it right here we're going to say db is equal to new database uh -huh. that sort of, that sorts that problem out and let's refresh again and there we go 
so it seems to have worked and let me go back here and browse to see if we've recorded anything and there we go so we've recorded that what we've liked is a post and this is the id of the post and these are the likes now i want you to notice the likes in here so let me go to the edit uh, view here and you're going to see the string that has been created so let me zoom oh, oh, oh too much too much where are the scroll bars on this thing oops Ah, oh. my computer is a little bit slow because of the screen capture software all right so as you can see this is a string that has been created there's user id it's an array inside an array so there's user id and that's the user id and then there's date and this is the date right there so you can add as many of these so when somebody else likes this post it's going to move to something else so we can uh, test that by um, logging in as somebody else and we see a different result there so let's try that let me log out and then i'm going to oh sorry log out and then i'm going to log in again one two three four five six seven eight here we go and then i'm going to go to my friend's profile and hit the like button okay we didn't get any errors so i'm guessing that it has updated so as you can see this is the content we have now but i'm sure if i refresh and edit okay so instead of getting longer it's it seemed to have become shorter so definitely we have an error there and we're going to sort that out